you want to study the sun, you mustn't ever look at it, even with dark glasses on, and certainly not through a telescope. You can be almost immediately blinded. So, if you want to study it, you have to take its picture, or at least project its picture, and look at that instead, and that's quite safe. Why would you want to do that? Well, you might look, like to look at sunspots, which are very interesting phenomena. You see, the sun's a great big fiery ball. It's burning away up there, but on its surface you get disruptions and little patterns, and these are known as sunspots. They're fairly mysterious because they come every 12 years. There's a major cycle of them. No one quite seems to know why, but uh, at any time of the year, or in any year, you should be able to see at least one or two. And this is how you do it, how you get the projected picture. First of all, get an old or simple telescope like that. It's often used by shooters to see what they're hitting in their target. But uh, that's all you need, as long as the optics are reasonable for a good picture. Don't look at the sun through it. Instead, get a little cardboard box, cut a hole which you can squeeze over the eyepiece there, and also cut one side out of it like that. It makes a little dark chamber. And into the back you can either wedge or stick some white paper, and that's going to be a screen. You're going to project the sun's image through the telescope into that box, but first you have to find it. So put the cardboard box onto the telescope. If it's a fairly small one, it'll be light and it won't pull the telescope down. You'll probably have to put your telescope on a box because the sun's usually up there and you have to get the eyepiece down a fair bit in order to uh, get the projection. But then spin it round until you're pointing pretty well in the direction of the sun. And at that stage you might want to tie it up or stick it up with bits of sticky tape to stop the thing wiggling, especially if there's a wind. Now you have to find the sun's picture inside the box. And here's how you do it. Three simple ways. First of all, turn the box so that it's at right angles to the telescope. That's important. Then obviously if the telescope is pointing directly at the sun, it won't cast a long shadow on the box, it'll just cast a circular one. So keep moving that around to get that shadow there into a circle. And you can see as it becomes a circle, you're pointing at the sun and the sun's picture appears down in there. And at that stage, slide the eyepiece of the telescope in and out until the sun's picture becomes sharp. And you can tell that best from looking at the edge of it. There we are, a good picture. Now we can see the sunspots. And there we've got it. There's the sun, and there's not a lot of sunspot activity, but you can just see two tiny faint dots, one and two, and those are sunspots. Go for the ones that move with the sun. You can see they are. Not that sort of thing. If that stays still with the sun moving around it, it's a bit of blob on the telescope lens. Well, if you're very clever and steady of hand, you can map those by introducing a pencil drawing around the outline of the sun as best you can. It'll move a bit, but you'll get it, I think. And then dot in the sunspots, because you can map them as they move day by day.